What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jell 64 and today we're gonna to be talking about the DLC maps and also about the DLC weapons of Black Ops 3. Now let's start off with the maps. You know, what do we want back? Are we gonna be able to see Nuketown again? You know, what map do we all as a community want? So, um, in my opinion, you know, I want Black Ops 1 maps to come back. Let me tell you guys why Black Ops 1 maps are better than the ones in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 1 maps, all of them were perfect for ground war. And do not tell me no. Go back into Black Ops 1, play it right now, and play in whatever map they have. And I'm telling you, they are all great size. They're not too small. They're not too big. They're perfect for ground war. That's why I had so much time, you know, spending in that game because they were they all had pretty much of a perfect flow going on in the maps and uh, it allowed me to rank up pretty much high in the leaderboards back in black ops 1 and um you know for the maps to come back into dlc mode i can't wait to see another reskin layer of those maps like wmd wmd was a great map it was a pretty much of a big size map and um you know it had multiple uh, multiple paths there was a warehouse in the middle and it was just it was just amazing you know that now that's a creative map uh, another map that I would like to see back would be Array. Array was actually another creative map. Uh, had multiple paths. And uh, the B flag, man, it was tough to, to freaking capture. Unless you had a smoke bomb, then it would be tough as hell. So, I want those kinds of maps to come back. Black Ops 1 maps are the bomb. Wow, Black Ops 2 maps, I'm telling you, if you guys bought the DLC for Black Ops 2, you all have been ripped off. I'm telling you guys right now, you all have been ripped off if you guys bought the Black Ops 2 DLC. Let me tell you guys why. And I, I've been saying this for two years straight, you know, since Black Ops 2. If you guys look at the designs of the maps and the DLC maps on Black Ops 2, they all look so familiar. There's three routes, and there's only one of those three routes connected to the middle, right? One of the outside routes. And that's what it is. Literally three routes and then one connected to the middle and, and that's what it is. That's that's all how, how the maps look. You know, Hydra, uh the one with the snowy freaking map. All those maps look similar. You guys got ripped off. You guys bought the same map like around five times. So I'm telling you, we don't want none of that shit. If you wanna get creative, bring back some of the Black Ops one maps. You know, those those designs were boss, man. So uh, unless you're blind, unless you wanna live in denial, then make a freaking, you know. Argument in the comment section. I would like to see your argument about the Black Ops 2 maps because right now I'm telling you they fucking suck ass. I don't I don't want to see none of them. Unless it was that one with a big ass hole in the middle. That one was kind of a good map. I actually did pretty much well on that map most of the time. So um, yeah, that's one of the main maps that I would like to see back from Black Ops 2. Um, now moving on to the DLC weapons. Now this one's pretty much a questionable thought because um, Nobody knows the setting, not even T. Martin, not even Ali A. None of those fuckers know the setting of this game. Unless they've been invited into the headquarters of Call of Duty, then they probably know the setting. But um, not even the Snapchats. If you're following the Snapchat of Call of Duty, they haven't revealed the setting yet. Because there's two settings in that Snapchat. There's one showing you where there's some soldiers running, right? And there's another one showing you about the Huey. So there's really no question, there's really no answer about the setting of Black Ops 3. Because it also shows you some somebody on the medical table and supposedly they turn into cybergs and that's a lot of rumor that's been going on. So, um, yeah, there's really no answer to what setting is Black Ops 3 going to take on. Um, so if it's if it is the past, you know, then I would like to see some random ass weapon that I haven't seen before. You know, like I don't know, maybe bring in some special single shot weapon or bring in some special assault rifle that we've never seen before in call of duty something like that you know like the peacekeeper i've never seen the peacekeeper in call of duty before now that one's a good weapon to add there was some also some good weapons in call of duty ghosts that i would like to see back so i don't know make those kinds of special weapons uh and uh make it into dlc you know i would like to see them as dlc uh packs uh another another thing will be the future weapons you know what kind of future weapons do we want well Seeing how they put it on in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the future weapons, it's pretty much just lasers. So, it's really not that much of a difference. It's not going to be impressive if they actually do make it into futuristic COD of Black Ops 3 because we all know it's just going to be lasers and shit. And we all know how annoying the fucking laser weapons are in Call of Duty Ghost. I mean, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I don't know. It's really not going to be a surprise to me no more. Like, what can we expect? It, it surprises the first time when they did it back in Black Ops 2, but now it's just. Nah, 
like it's lasers or regular ass guns. So um, so that's it. So, so I want to talk about you know DLC weapons, DLC maps. What is your wish list? You know what maps do you want to see back, or what weapons do you want to see back? It do make it into DLC. So that is it. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and subscribe for more for more Black Ops Three news and also rumors.